Welcome back for our second installment of our behind the scenes adventure, helping Johnny Brook build his first ever house. Today we finish the foundation by installing the sauna tubes that will hold up the girders that will hold up the house. Make sure to subscribe to Johnny's channel, Crafted Workshop, to see the entire build in more detail. We might leave these on the highway somewhere. Well, just like normal, one place didn't have everything we needed. So now we're going to Southern Concrete Materials over here, which is our concrete plant. And we're gonna get some 5.8 steel, that's number five, which is what's specced on the plans. And uh, as many of you know, you have to actually do what it says in the plans usually. So we thought about getting number fours at Home Depot, but that's half inch steel, not gonna work. So hopefully Johnny will be out of the shower by the time we get there. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, now this I is the stuff. I think these guys got what we need I finally. Think, I think I see all the stuff that we're looking for. Here, here. we go. You just turn that right into our joist. Sometimes <laughs> you get yeah, it up, man. I think that could dry that out a little bit. Nice one by one there. Oh yeah. Oh, we're getting we're getting down to the tap root now. I'm pretty sure. I cut this rebar to two foot sections here. Let the woods. Provide my sawhorse right there. Drop it and drop it. Oh, that one did better. There that you go. One did better. Yep. We're setting up all of our tic tac toe games here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a 10 round tic tac toe match when this is all done. Yeah. It happens a little later. We've got all of our footings ready. And the next thing is we're going to set these sauna tubes in. We're gonna cut them like a little bit long to start with so that we can get them braced and get everything where we want it. And then come back around after everything's set and then cut them the final height. I think that's gonna be easier than cutting the thing perfect and then trying to have it get it at the exact right height while we're bracing it and all that. So that's the plan. So yep. uh, I had to run and go get this guy from school. Yep, yep. And they had the inspection while I was gone. How'd that go? Mm -hmm. Well, we didn't pass any part of the inspection, actually. <laughs> Failed on every level. So he was a nice guy, though. He said he'd come back in the morning before the concrete came. So I'll give him that. Sweet. We just have to fix everything and then reinspect. The inspector wanted us to space the rebar a little differently and then also have all of the sauna tubes in place, which our local building department in Bryson City, they know us and know that we're not gonna actually leave a uh, sauna tube completely missing for the foundation. So they would have let that slide knowing we would do it. But we don't know these guys. Johnny doesn't know these guys. They don't know us. So hey. fail. Dang, dude. Wow. Is that all wheel drive? Dude, I can't believe it doesn't flip over. It Look out, Nolan. <laughs> yeah, watch out, man. You don't want to stand up a little bit. Watch out. Whoa! <laughs> he landed it! <laughs> oh, that was... Dang, dude. Yeah, Searching for plumbing. <laughs> Not my favorite guest here. Well, there's a, there's your clean out. Oh, I know that's the sewer. Yeah. So that goes over there. Oh, are you looking for the sewer? The pecs. You're yeah, looking for, the oh, pecs. oh. Yeah. Well. Because the pecs on the inside, I can see it goes underground right under here. Gotcha. So. Well, what I would say about the pecs is I'll bet it's two feet down. Oh. Because it, otherwise it'll freeze. Oh yeah. No, so you're the, right. Because that's code, I think. Yeah. So. Wow. Well, yeah. What about you? Yeah, well, if you hook it with a tooth, then yeah. yeah. He reviews everything. That's smart. I like that. So smart. Yeah. <laughs> For instance, look at this wheelbarrow. Well, I bought this. He bought that. He probably probably reviewed it before he bought it, didn't you? Oh yes. How'd it do? Like five stars? It's pretty good, man. I mean, check it out. Yeah. It's an awesome. It's got a low center of gravity is what I'll tell you. And uh, you don't have to shovel real high nope. to get the stuff in there. It dumps really easily. It's you got, got you got these frame. to hold back like brakes. You know how if light you're... It is. 
Yeah, it's super light. I mean, I've never even seen a wheelbarrow like this. Actually. You haven't lived, man. Yeah, so case oh, in point right there. Here we are. Foundations ready for concrete. And uh, this is after oh, about two days of work. Got it all squared up, dug out. We've got the uh, footings dug with steel down in there. Whoop. And uh, we've got these sauna tubes just sort of placed and hanging <laughs> and braced, you know, pretty well uh, using this little bridge system. And that was something that we have never really done before. I don't use a lot of sauna tubes, but uh, the tallest one's over here and it's about three feet out of the ground. So we put a little diagonal brace on the tall ones, but uh, that's a number six uh, J bar coming out of there too. And that's why we only used one because that's, that's like three quarter steel, big boy. So here in just a little bit, Johnny's gonna get a taste of pouring concrete for the first time. It's gonna get pumped from way out there. See the house like through the way that's at the road. So hopefully they bring a bunch of lines with them and uh, hopefully this passes inspection in the next like hour before the concrete shows up. That'd be good. When you're waiting on concrete to come, that's when you think of all the random things that you just wouldn't have thought of otherwise. Like we got an excavator. Why shouldn't we go ahead and dig a trench for the sewer? Cause otherwise it's going to be under the house and you're going to have to dig it by hand later. Yeah. That's not an option. Or we're going to have to wait on the plumber to come out here and dig the trench before yeah. we floor, frame the floor. Not a good option. Not a good option. So that's happening. And we're I've just, already rented it. So yeah, it's there. A, this is a sunk cost. Yeah. So also we're thinking about uh, just where that's going to run out to where it taps into the sewer out there. We're trying to stay five times the diameter of the tree trunks. Two, three, four, <laughs> five. <laughs> so like right there, because the arborist told us that you know, five times the diameter is the safe zone for digging and not killing the tree. Here's the interesting thing though. He also said that includes driving over it with a machine. Oh. Because that evidently compresses the soil so much that it, it is essentially like you're cutting through those roots. I didn't even know even that. Even with the machine tracks. So right here, I would have to be this big with the excavator probably, you know? Yeah. Because to get my my trench through here. So just so driving the excavator driving all over these roots could here. kill the tree. And, and the reason that's bad, besides, I mean, you know, you have to move trees to build houses, but yeah. you're not cutting this tree. No. And it provides a ton of nice shade. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the things I really like about yeah. where we're building right. this in our backyard. You don't want to kill it. Yeah, there's all this tree cover. Plus, if that came down on this house, there, there goes the house. Johnny, that's exactly what I'm getting at right yeah. there, buddy. <laughs> So, Good job. We finally got around to it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> there are a multitude of reasons. You don't want that laying across your living room floor. No. Plus, there's some probably nice birds living up there. Yeah. You don't want them to cut no. down. No, 100%. So, I think I'm voting for through here. Yeah. Yeah, that's... And then we... Yep. Snake around. Oh! Stay far from this big old monster tree. Yep. Come through here. These, will, these three are going to have to go. And, and there it is sewer clean outs right here which evidently another fun fact you can't just tap into the side of a clean out which didn't know that so even though this clean out is like six feet long we can't tap into the side it had to go all the way down to the actual yes, main sewer yes line, which so doesn't make any logical sense to, to the me. plumbing layman like me uh that means that the actual sewer pipe is six feet below grade and that's just a clean out yeah to get something down there to clean it out. That's what it's, that means. You got too much toilet paper in there. Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> hey, if you've got kids, there's going to be oh, yes. that problem. No, no. There's, there's bidets, man. I got a bidet on my <laughs> toilet and there's going to be a bidet in the kids' bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> got to save the, uh, save the resources yeah. there. And don't use uh, one of those things. Uh, flushable wipes. Dude, no. Those They're are not flushable, as my, my plumber told me. No, if you're not using the bidet, you're just, you're not clean. That's what comes out. Do you really have a bidet? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh. They're awesome. They're like wow. 50 bucks. Huh. Attach them right on the toilet seat. Well, they're amazing. Hey, like truly, that is some real personal information. <laughs> well, hey man, we're talking about sewage. Here. Yeah, you know, there's, there's not much more personal than your own personal yeah. sewage. You know. Yeah. But, well, I'm uh, gonna have to try it now, dude. Uh, that'll be my gift. I'm you convinced. For all this. Yeah. Get you a real nice. They, they even have like heated seats and stuff. Wow. I mean, it's, I, uh, it's like I was saying about the tech stuff. Hey man, everything yeah. there is to Just know about me before you buy any products. You know, my toilet seat, um, my toilet seat is so bad that 
like there's a little hinge thing that constantly the pin pops out and so i have to like poke it back in so Dude, the seat doesn't fall off I'm the toilet i'm buying you a bidet that's probably my thinking <laughs> you'll, you'll never want to poop outside your house again i i'm i'm ready for that yeah not not much of a bed on this truck it, it'll hold a lot of junk though look at that <laughs> yeah you'll you'll want the the bigger cab when you got more kids i'll tell you that so now i'll have the soccer truck i'm i'm uh <laughs> i'm loving your cart selection here you know man i got in there thinking i was buying the pre-cut ones and i was like i'm not going all the way back outside so yeah well made it work the uh this thing kind of works as a nice intermediate kind of support. It, really it actually, did. it worked. It actually worked really well. Yeah, so I might be changing up my cart selection from now on. How does it feel to pass an inspection? Yeah, good, very good. Like how good? Very good. I, I was fist pumping just a second good. ago. There it is, all right. Yes, yeah. just like- This is recreation of, of the excitement. The building permit, which I also got wow. footage of my excitement. Look at that. That was- Well, they, they make it obvious what that is. Look at that. They the, do. Let me see that again. It's like size 40. What font. do you think that could be? Any <laughs> right. questions? Oh, that's a building permit. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so, yeah. That's awesome. Footing inspection. Hey, good job, Johnny. First inspection. Yeah. Off the list. One out of two ain't so, bad. So what's after this, inspections-wise? Framing? Yeah, I mean, basically, you can frame the whole place. And then they come back and inspect the framing, and then it'll be yeah. electrical and plumbing? Yeah. Uh, sometimes they want to look at the floor system before you uh, cover it if oh. it's in a crawl space. So okay. they don't have to crawl in the crawl space to look at the framing. But in this case... No crawl space. No crawl space. So I'd say just frame everything. Sweet. Yeah. Ooh, man. Yeah. Weight lifted. Yeah. I know the feeling. I mean, dude. It's a good feeling. It's a very good feeling. <laughs> now we wait. I just need to remember to call to release the concrete truck. Call to release at 1 or earlier. Or earlier. Or anytime now. I can call now. Yeah. I think I might do that. Tell them to send it on. Pump mix. Because yep. evidently this guest house now, when I went to get the uh, zoning permit, they wanted to classify it as a separate building with a separate address, a, its own house, single family residence. In your yard. In my yard, <laughs> which we can't rent and can't sell separately because of the neighborhood rules, but whatever. Uh, I evidently, according to the inspector, have to get separate electrical service out there with its own panel and all that. Uh, with zone meter because according to my electrician we were planning to just run uh, a sub panel out there and so now i have to call duke energy and get a one of their engineers i guess to come out here and you know figure out where it's going to go and the the hole it's going to be in and all that stuff so yeah the good news is number one that should be free yeah that's they good. should do that and number two is that should be free i mean that's i mean i do so the some other potential positive, you know, before it was going to only be 125 amp sub panel. Yeah, now you can get 200. So I couldn't do like a tankless water heater. I, I couldn't do some really energy intensive things like induction cooktop. Um, so I'm, I could do that now, potentially. Yeah. Um, so that's another bonus. Uh, you will have a separate monthly minimum power bill. That's it's a, usually 25 bucks. Okay. That's not terrible. You'll probably use 25 bucks in there anyway. Maybe. I mean, it's going to be vacant like probably 50% of the time, but that's fine. That's worthwhile. Um, so that's interesting. Interesting so, update. Now yeah. i got to figure out if that's the same deal with the water because uh, I called City of Asheville Water and told them that this is a guest house and that I was going to be tapping into the existing water supply, and they said that was fine. They sent me the proof of water for this house. That's what I needed to get the building permit. You know, maybe just don't ask. Yeah, I well, know. what I don't want to happen is us do it all and then, yeah. then be like, well, no, this is not right. Uh, you got to have a separate water meter out there. I didn't and, say that, though. Yeah, because then I had to dig, you know, nine million trenches in my yard. Right. And uh, mm -hmm. so what you're going to need is a work order number. Okay. And now. And Duke Power. Yes, a temporary and a permanent. And then basically you can't get that turned on now till the building inspection gives you a CO. Gotcha. That's all right, you can run an extension cord from your house. <laughs> I have a very nice one that yeah. I just bought. And that's that sucks, because yeah, I was hoping to have a little bit of juice out there. But yeah, 100%. Such is life, man. Yeah. Although I might do that temporary CO thing, because that was something I yeah. saw, you know, you pay whatever. 50 bucks, yeah, you get a temporary CO. You get CO. temporary CO, so then I can at least have some power out there. I would do that. I'm gonna be you working in there for months, yeah. you know? Um, all right. Fun, fun, man, yeah. just. Love one thing love after another, you know, yeah. just gotta love them. <laughs>
We've got the utility ditch going here for the water line. Two feet deep so it doesn't freeze. You may have to go way deeper in other areas, like in the north, than that. So, don't tell him I said this, but Johnny's pretty good on the excavator. We're going for 24 inches down here. And uh, as you can see, it's bang on 24. He even thought about leaving a way for him to get out of here with this excavator when he's done, which was real man of genius type stuff for a guy that does woodworking. This is where he does a gold rush move. Could have made that way more entertaining, bro. I could have. <laughs> yeah. It's almost go time for concrete, Johnny. Uh, and they're, they're gonna pump it from way up there down this hose, and they said it would be good, and that's reassuring because uh, I've had them say to me before, "Ooh, this may not work," and so this is pretty simple though. Uh, should not be a problem, but. You never know when you're dealing with concrete is what I'll say. You never know what the problem's gonna be.